If you are thinking about buying a farm property as an investment, this video is designed for you. Hi, this is Bill at Highland Hill Farm, and we're on a tree farm that I have in Fountainville, PA. And today I wanted to tell you a little method that you might be able to use to buy a property and have it pay for itself and avoid taxes. When you buy a piece of property, you may be able to, to buy a property from a farmer, like for, for people that grow trees or people that have corn or things like that. And you might be able to buy a property where the farmer has a, a need to sell the ground in order to get money to pay debts that he has to pay. But he still wants to, to use the property after he sells it. And what I would suggest you look at is offering this. Let's say, for example, the property price it's worth in a cash basis is worth $100,000. And he wants to stay on for at least another five years. Offer him a, 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 a proposition that he can have a retained interest in the property to farm it for five years. And what happens then is instead of paying $100,000 for the property, if the agricultural lease is worth, say, $5,000 a year, have them make the price of the property $75,000 to accommodate the $5,000 year per year for five years rent. And thus, you're going to pay a discount on the property of $25,000. Now, why is that a good deal for you? Okay, here's why. If you collected the $5,000 a year in rent on a $100,000 property, you would owe taxes on $5,000 a year as the rent because there's taxes on rent. However, if you build it into the purchase price of the property where it was a retained interest that he uses up, it's not rent to you because you only get paid rent when money comes to you. So what would happen is you would buy the property at a discount and instead of paying taxes on $5,000 a year, which could be, say, in your 40% bracket, could be two or 3000 bucks a year. So what you would do is you would have a subsidy from the government of not paying taxes on money that you haven't received, but yet having the equity build. So in essence, you would get free equity from the government. The government would help you buy the property because you're saving on your tax bill. Now, the $75,000 that you would need to pay for the property, you would have to go get a mortgage on. And for that, you would have an interest deduction on the cost of that mortgage. Now, if the property has a, a storage bin on it, say like it has silos or something like that, that's good. Don't lease that don't leave that in the property as a retained interest. Lease the silo outside of that. So in other words, the person would have to pay you for the silo each year if he's going to use it or the grain bin if he's going to use it. And the reason you do that is because then you have rental coming in off the property and you can depreciate that building and silos and, and single purpose agricultural storage buildings usually have a five year write off period. So, in other words, if there was a $20,000 value of a silo or grain bins, you would write off over a five year period, you'd write off $4,000 a year. So, you could have $4,000 of income on your regular tax that you wouldn't pay tax on because you would have a write-off of $5,000 or $4,000 a year on the grain bin. So that's an additional way that you can help you know, fund your property purchase. This is Bill at Highland Hill Farm, and if you need trees or shrubs, we grow lots of them. And I always like to talk about real estate. I'm not an attorney. I'm not a, an accountant, so I'm not giving you legal advice. But I can tell you this. You can design unique strategies in purchasing of a property so that you build into the purchase contract great ways of saving on your taxes. And as I say, I'm not an attorney, so I'm not giving you legal advice. You need to see an accountant, an attorney, to, to verify what I think you can do. 
Now, this is Bill at Highland Hill Farm. If you need trees or shrubs, we do have them. Give us a call at 215-651-8329 and have a good one. We'll see you. Bye. If you buy a piece of farm ground and you decide you want to raise nursery stock, this is the best tree that you could possibly grow. It's the Green Giant Arborvita, and we can help you get started in growing green giants. Call us at Highland Hill Farm at 215-651-8329 and start growing profits.